Hey everyone, this is Mike from Guitar Essentials, and in this lesson we're going to learn how to play the B minor chord as well as the C minor chord. Here it goes. All right, so let's get started. In this lesson, we're gonna first start with the B minor chord, and then we're gonna segue that into the C minor chord and see that it's pretty much the same exact thing. So with the B minor chord, the notes from root third and fifth are B, D, and F sharp, all right? So B is your root, D is your third, F sharp is your fifth. And we won't get so much into the theory, we just want to learn how to play this chord and go from there. So the first way I'm going to show you is a four string B minor chord. And here's how it goes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the first string with our first finger and we're gonna put it at the second fret. Then we're gonna to go to the second string with our second finger on the third fret. And then we're gonna put our pinky down on the fourth fret of the third string. And then on top of that, we're gonna put our third finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string. And we're only gonna strum those four strings, four through one. So that's the first way I'm going to show you how to play a B minor chord. Later on in the video, I'll show you an easier way if that's a little bit too tough. Now, the second way, if that's easy enough for you, you can try the bar chord. Now, bar chords are a little bit difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that same chord shape. Now take off your first finger and bar it five strings from the fifth string to the first string. Now we can incorporate five of the strings strumming five to one. Now the tension on the first finger only needs to be on the fifth string and the first string. And I'm gonna show you close up what I mean by that, that the finger doesn't have to be fully flat because on the fourth, third, and second string, these fingers are negating anything that the first finger does. But we need the B note on the fifth string and the F sharp note on the first string to ring. So my finger is almost like a C and I'm not flat like that. I'm on the left side of my finger, that will help. And I'm kind of curving it like a C so that I get the fifth string and the first string. Now listen to these strings. They're muted, doesn't matter because we fill them in with these fingers. With that, we have the least amount of tension on our fingers. So if you can do the bar chord, great, practice it that way. If you can't, just stick to the B minor the first way I showed you. Strum four strings for now. Work with that for a while, and then eventually you could add your first finger in. All right, and then the simplest way I would say to play a B minor is just use three fingers on the first, second, and third strings. And we're gonna lay it out like this. First finger, second fret, first string. Second finger, third fret, second string. And then third finger, fourth fret of the third string. It's kind of like a staircase, right? It goes second, third, fourth, fingers one, two, three. All right, so it has some symmetry to it and you only strum strings three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna show you one more way that you can play a B minor, which is basically a precursor to your bar chord the first way I showed you, and then we added the bar, right? 
Well, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep all those fingers down, take off your first finger and put it on its tip or maybe a 45 degree angle on the second fret of the fifth string. Now we're only going to pluck strings five to two. So we want to not hit the first string, not hit the sixth string. So this is another way to get used to playing a B minor chord. It's hard to strum unless you can naturally mute the first and sixth string. What I mean by that is right now I can strum all the strings. I'm nudging the sixth string with my first finger by just touching the bottom of it. And then my first finger, although it's not barring, is kind of touching the first string and muting it. And that's kind of an advanced technique. So I wouldn't worry so much about that. I would be more concerned about strumming the right strings, five to two, in the right hand and just being a little more accurate in the right hand. All right, so that is another way to play a B minor chord. Now, everything I said, all the four ways I showed you how to play a B minor chord really is the same when playing a C minor chord. The only difference is you move up one fret. So if we took that first B minor shape and just move it up one fret, that's a C minor chord. And you could follow everything that we did in these lessons, the four ways. You could do the bar chord. You could just do the three string one. Or you could do the one when you're going from the fifth to the second string. But it's really the exact same thing, just moved up one fret. All right, we don't use open strings here. I'm not gonna show you the open string C minor chord. I'll, I mean, I'll show you a little bit, but not how to play it. You could do it that way, but that's actually very tricky. So I wouldn't worry about that. I would just learn your B minor. Know that if you move up one fret, you're now playing a C minor. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Stay tuned for more lessons. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next lesson.